So this is essentially a death run course. And you know what? I think the horse rider here is the unit to do it. Go, go, go. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Now, as a lot of you know on this channel, I love a bit of destruction. And this might be the most destructive map I have seen in ARBS. So hopefully when the units up here fight, this whole tower should collapse. Okay, here we go. Look at the wobble, right? So we have Goru versus the T-Rex, a classic battle. Let's just see what happens, shall we? Ooh, T-Rex biting his face off right now. Oh no, Goru's fallen down the crack. He's going down. He's probably gonna take a lot of full damage and most likely die. Oh, he's still going. There's not really much the T-Rex can do now. There we go. Wait, I just... Goru's still alive down there, but the T-Rex died. So the physics are a little bit weird in this game with the platform being this high up. It's, it's a little strange, but it did not collapse. So what I've done is I've put all the carnivorous dinosaurs on team two, and then we have all the mutant primates on team one. I've also put Poojectile Gorilla at the front because, well, his explosive poo is likely going to mess this up. But in the best way possible. Let's start the fight. All right, here we go. There's a lot more weight now on the tower. So I have a feeling it's going to collapse a lot more. Oh, look at the dinosaurs. They're all falling through the gaps. It's very hectic. I'm surprised. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, look at this. Down it goes. <laughs> that is so cool. Wait, where's, where's all the other units? I think a lot of them have actually fallen down the cracks. But only one piece of the tower has fallen over. Oh, oh no. Why are there mines down there? <laughs> oh no, that's really going to mess things up. There's so many mines. Okay, we have more of the tower falling. So what I really want to happen here is for all of this to fall over. And I'm not really too sure how I'm going to get that to happen just yet. Okay, so we have a lot of units in the cracks. So I just still alive. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some other units in and hopefully fully destroy this place. Right. So all these different units should be able to take down the tower. All right. Here we go. Who jaked our gorillas on both sides as well? Oh, they've all fallen over. All right. Roll. That's it. Come on. Lava golem. I need you guys to roll. Oh, what, what are you doing? <laughs> all right. Things are wobbling all over the place. Come on. Oh, there we go. That tower's going down. All the explosives at the bottom are going off. You know what? I actually reckon if we bring in Godzilla, maybe even two Godzillas, one on each side, we probably will be able to take down the entire place. But this round hasn't been too bad at all. All over. I think that might be the last of it to fall, though. Once again, all the units are trapped inside. Look, they're just chilling. Look at this scourge unit just holding on. Hang in there, buddy. <laughs> Look at his toes. <laughs> so this is the usual creation that I use. Very powerful. And I also downloaded a new one today. This is Millennium Godzilla, I believe. Not seen this guy in action. So yeah, I wonder who is more powerful. Although probably not the best map to test this out on. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Oh, they're falling down the middle. Things are tilting everywhere and they're both upside down right now. Oh, look at that. Yes, this is exactly why it opened would happen. Opened? Oh my goodness, look at that. It's all falling down. This is perfect. Yes, that's amazing. Oh, that is actually brilliant. Look at it all go. Yes, they are both dead though. I think they both would have died from uh, full damage there. Just a little bit too high up this map. Hang on a second. <laughs> Millennium Godzilla is just chilling. I thought he was dead. He's right here. And the other one is, well, dead here. Rest in peace. Now check this battleship out. I know we're on land right now, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see how this battleship does against Slatten. I believe this is the biggest kaiju in Pacific Rim. Again, not seen any of these in action. But let's see what happens, shall we? Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? This battleship is way more powerful than I thought it would be. Wait a second. It's maxed out stats. Look at that. <laughs> oh no. Wait, does this mean that this is stronger than my strongest units? So I've got here the army killer killer. Will that be enough? The answer is... Oh, they're still fighting. Oh, he's been pushed back, but the tree has saved him. Come on, the army killer. No, he's dead. The battleship has won. Right. Oh, there we go. Yes. The army killer, 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 killer has done it. Cool battleship, though. I like that. And also, Slam was pretty cool. Wait. Um. Well, I was not expecting this. What is going on here? Now I'm moving on to a map that I'm probably most excited for. So this is essentially a death run course and probably has the most obstacles that I've had to go through on a map. 
There are spikes everywhere. There's spinning parts, tentacles, and everything. It's pretty insane. Now, in the past, I've had some pretty good luck with the boar unit. So I'm going to send in the boar. And hopefully, we can do this on our first go. Here we go. Come on, boar. You got this. Yes, he's so quick. Look at him go. What an absolute unit. Wait, no, wait. Oh. Oh, no. Is he dead? He's dead. All right. Well, you know what? Not too bad. We got to like the halfway point, sort of. So we're looking for a fast unit, something that could take quite a bit of damage. A rhino, maybe? That's that's not good. No. Oh, careful. Okay, so far. No. Oh, we got picked up by the tentacle. That is brutal. All right, now I'm getting worried. Is this course impossible? Giraffe time, baby. Come on, you giraffe. You got this. You're a little bit slow, but that's... That's not fine, actually. No. What about a hill giant? Can the hill giant do it? He's a little slow. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew he was going to hit by those spikes. Oh, just not quick enough. Now, the werewolf, on the other hand, pretty small. He's quick. Health isn't too bad. So we'll see what happens here. There we go. We avoided the blister over there. Oh, and the spikes. Look how low he is as well. Yes. Oh, he's doing really good. He's doing really good. We've only taken one hit so far. Okay. Very hard to avoid the floor spikes here. Now, we have been given a limit in the bottom right here. So you can see we have a cost limit of 1,500 and a count limit of five. So that means we can, well, hopefully get five werewolves in, right? Yeah. Could we just see if they all go for it? Maybe if they work as a team somehow. <laughs> Look at them all go. So we now have a much higher chance of completing it because, well, there's more of them. Oh, yes. No. Oh, this one got pretty far, though. But you know, it would be quite cool just to complete the course with one unit. Now, I've gone for the Ankylosaurus here. Quite a short unit. Might be able to dodge quite a lot of the obstacles. And, of course, has the armor on its back, which doesn't seem to do anything. All right, go. Oh, okay. That's fine. We didn't get hit by the spike, so we're, we're good. We're good. Keep going. Oh, no way too many spikes and we're dead oh man this is so difficult all i need to do is get to this block right here and destroy it in order to win now i know i said it'd be cool to do it with one unit but i've gone for five velociraptors maybe we should do a mix of units that might be the way forward all right here we go yes they're so quick they're very small but you know if they just get one spike in them they're dead pretty much oh no ah oh, i thought we were pretty close to that wait is one still alive nope never mind right let's just try a bunch of different dinosaurs carnivorous ones and maybe we might just be able to do it all right here we go t-rex has a lot of health, but he looks like he's about to fall. That's not good. Come on, get up, buddy. Get up. No. T-Rex, he's fallen down the gap. No, he's dead. We might have to create like a custom unit in order to actually get through this. Right, let me try this one more time. I've moved some of the dinosaurs around. Oh, great. He's been hit by the first bike straight away. All right, it's all up to you. Whoa, what are you doing? Skipping the course like that. No, it's not ended well at all. It really is possible, but I am determined. I want to complete this course and you know what i think the horse rider here is the unit to do it go 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 yeah oh okay never mind but maybe if there's three of them we'll do it okay that's fine the horse is still alive come on keep going yes horse oh the guy's still alive oh no <laughs> oh no now i'm getting worried now I am getting very worried that I will not be able to complete this course. Right, we have to try it. Goru the Giant times four. Go, go, go. They can take a lot of hits, but they're a little bit too slow. Okay, we still got one alive. That's good. Keep going. That's it. Come on. I'm worried we probably won't be able to get past that last obstacle if we make it that far, which we won't because he's dead. Oh boy. I've just realized the unit creator is gone but we're gonna try the hellhound anyway just to see what happens here oh not good not good at all but there is one man one man that is capable of completing this death run course coward co you got this buddy go <sighs> You know what? Just for fun, we got Crypto Bro here. What is he doing? He's sending in the hype ball. Oh, he's so slow. <laughs> Why is he so slow? I still think this might be one of the worst units in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Oh, boy. Great. He's dead. Who would have thought? Komodo Dragon. Very small. Can avoid the spikes at the start, but not the tentacles or the other spikes. Okay. Okay. You know what? Wow. They're doing better than I thought. Never mind. They're all dead. Right. This might be cheating a little bit. 
but I've increased the HP multiplier to 10. So now there's a good chance we're actually going to make it, but I'm not going to be very proud. Proud of myself. Okay. Oh, no! What am I going to do? Right, back to the Velociraptor with the 10 HP multiplier to avoid the first spike. And now we can just run through. Look at this. Look, look at us go. Oh, my. We're doing so well up until that moment. But no, we're still going. No! Come on! No! Oh, man, that was the closest I got. But then again, I did up the HP multiplier. So does it really count? I don't know. You know what? I haven't really tried any of the giant invertebrates. So let's go for these ants here. Let's see how well they do. They've also got the increased multiplier, but they don't really weigh anything. So, oh, man, they're getting messed up quite badly. <gasps> Come on. Come on, you beauty. Yes! Well, they can't... Wait, we did it! Victory! Wait, how's that a victory? I don't know, but you know what? I'm not very proud of myself because, again, we changed the HP multiplier, so they're a lot harder to kill. I'd seriously love to know what unit can actually make it across without any change stats or anything like that. We have King Kong here, quite a few of them. Oh, look at that guy. He got impaled. He's definitely dead. And now there's only one remaining. Is he, is he dead as well? Yeah, he's dead. Now, don't get me wrong. The flying units could probably do it, right? Uh, let's just try it out. So we have the wyvern here. There it goes. So you can just go straight to the finish line. But again, this is just cheating. Yep, I am out of ideas for units to get to the end. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to do anymore. <gasps> Wait, come on, go. Don't die on me, please. Oh. Okay, here we go. Very flat animals here. So they're able to avoid most of the spikes. But still getting pretty messed up. As you can tell, the Purosaurus is even getting launched. Snake's doing pretty good. Snake is avoiding quite a few spikes, but now also dead. So you know what? I'd love to get your suggestions on what units I should try because I'd love to come back to this obstacle course and actually fully complete it. But on that note, I am going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!